I'm Dave Prouse with the tech question of the day for April 6th, 2017, and it's on the topic of aspect ratios. Here's the question. You have a 24 inch monitor running at 1920 by 1080 resolution. Which of the following aspect ratios is it using? And select the two best answers from the following. A. 16.9 B. 16.10 C. 8.5 D. 1.78 to 1 E. 1.85 to 1 and F. 4.3 Select the two best answers. And I'll give you a moment to pause the video while you look at the question and the answers, and I'll be back in just a bit with the correct answers. Okay, we're back, and the best answers are going to be A, 16.9, and D, 1.78 to 1. Those are the aspect ratios for 1920 by 1080 resolution. And that's common for watching videos or playing games. So the 1920 by 1080 resolution, that is also known as 1080p, right? 1080p, that is 1920 by 1080. And 16.9 is what we usually use as the aspect ratio, but you could also use 1.78 to 1. But that's more of a physical measurement used in the old days and also now, but not as much for, say, computer monitors. And it's interesting because I just got a question about this today asking about how do you convert from one to the other? Where do you get 1.78 from? And so I've broken that down to the simple answer and then the more advanced answer. And the simple answer is that if we do a basic equation, if we do, say, 1.78, times 9, we'll get 16. And conversely, if you were to do 16 divided by 9, you'd get 1.78. And that's approximate because it's really in between 1.77 and 1.78. So you'll see both of these used uh, when talking about this type of aspect ratio. So 16.9, 16.9 here, that's what we use the most often. Those are the smallest numbers possible without a fraction, which is what we as consumers want in the tech world. Now, let's get into the more in-depth answer because I get questions about this a lot. How does it work? How do you get the aspect ratio from the resolution? And what's the difference between the two? What's the difference between 16.9 and 178 to 1? Well, basically, it's the difference between pixel measurement and physical measurement. Historically, 1.78 to 1, that referred to the physical measurement of the screen that was being used or a photo. Whereas today, 16.9 refers directly to the pixel measurement. And therefore, it's what is most important to us computer geeks. So while the two do relate to each other mathematically, uh, they're actually different ways of measuring. So we've got the pixel measurements. And again, this is what's more important for the exam, any exams you take for computers, and also for the real world, for the real technical world. So as far as pixel measurements go, let's say we once again have 1920 by 1080. Okay, 1920 by 1080. That's 1920 pixels going horizontal by 1080 pixels going vertical, 1920 by 1080. What we need to find to find out our aspect ratio is the greatest common factor, the GCF. And in this case, the GCF for those two numbers will be 120. 120 goes into 1920 16 times. And 120 goes into 1080 nine times. That's the greatest common factor. So our aspect ratio is 16 to 9, or we just say 16, 9. This means that for every 16 pixels horizontally, you have 9 pixels vertically. And we use 16, 9 because those numbers represent 
the smallest integers possible without using a fraction, without using a decimal point and numbers beyond it. Now, a, an easy way to do this, if you don't want to do it on paper or in your head, is to use a GCF tool. And I have one here. This is on the Math is Fun website. That's a basic tool. Just makes it a lot easier for you. Type in your two numbers to find the greatest common factor. So let's say we do 1920 and we'll do 1080. And boom, it tells us GCF is 120. That's the answer. In addition to that, it gives the simplified fraction. 1920 over 1080 is 169. There you go. That's it. So easy way to do it. If you don't want to do it in your head or in with uh, on paper or with a calculator, you could do it right here on their built-in calculator. And there's other examples as well. You could do this with any resolution. The GCF will change, but you could do it with any resolution. Now, for example, my middle monitor here is 1920 by 1080. And I use that for watching videos, for watching finalized videos that I made, other videos. Uh, it's good for gaming. It's good for watching movies. But I have two other monitors over here on the on the sides that I use for uh, business work. You know, if I'm building PowerPoint presentations or uh, writing documents in Word or that type of thing, browsing the web, I'll use those monitors. And those are 1920 by 1200. And so we see here, 240 is the GCF. 240 goes into 1920 eight times, and it goes into 1200 five times. And there's our uh, aspect ratio, 8 to 5, which is also 16, 10. If you've seen that, uh, 8, 5 is the accurate measurement for that. That's the accurate name of the aspect ratio, but you might also see 16, 10. Uh, so there's another example. So you can plug any resolution in here and find out the GCF and find out the aspect ratio right from this site if you don't want to do it on your own. So that is the pixel side of things. And that's what's most important, as I say, for the exams, for the tech world. But then there's the physical side of things. And by physical, I mean measuring the actual screen physically. You know, and that's when we get that 1.78. So we're going to use my middle monitor here as an example. It's an Asus VG248, and that's a 24-inch monitor. It's meant to run at 1920 by 1080, and that's why I got it. So it's also known as 16:9 aspect ratio or 1.78 to 1. Now, for every 1.78 inches across or horizontal, you have one inch vertically. Physically, the screen size is approximately uh, 20 and 7 eighths inches, 20 and 7 eighths inches by uh, 11 and 3 quarters inches. That's the actual glass, not the bezel, not the whole monitor, just the glass where the actual display, where the image is displayed, I should say. Uh, approximately, that comes to 53 0.4 centimeters by 30 centimeters. And since most of the world uses metric and most tech people and scientists and engineers in the United States use metric, that's what we're going to go with. And it's actually easier instead of using fractions. So at this point, it's easier to use the metric system. I'm guessing you'd prefer it. We'll stick to that measurement. And so it's pretty easy at this point. If we were to say 53 0.4 divided by 1.78, we'd get 30 centimeters. Conversely, 30 times 1.78 is going to be 53.4 centimeters, or thereabouts. This is, this is approximate. But this is a physical measurement. That's what we're more interested in here when it comes to this 1.78. And all of this here, all this physical measurement and, you know, fractions and decimal uh, decimal numbers, this is why you usually don't see the actual size measurement in horizontal to vertical in the technical specifications for a monitor. Um, Asus doesn't show it. A lot of the monitor manufacturers don't. Dell does sometimes, but it depends on the manufacturer. Usually you don't see it. 
nor do you see the physical aspect ratio, meaning 1.78 to 1. Those are terms used more for uh, movies, for cinema, and for the silver screen, uh, for old school photography. You know, like I said, going back to Edison and with perforations, uh, you know, perforations for a photo. You know, it used to be that there would be four perforations going across and three going up and down. And that was your original four to three ratio. But as techs and consumers, we don't really care about it that much. What we do care about is the pixel ratio. It's this one that we care about. It's not 1.78. It's 16.9. It's 16.10. It's 8.5. It's 4.3. We don't care as much about these other ones because they're more like a physical measurement. So we care about the pixel aspect ratio without fractions. So in other words, in the physical world, we like to convert using the number one, you know, using that number one as a starting point. But in the pixel world, it doesn't work out that way without the other number being represented as a fraction or numbers to the other side of the decimal point. And you can't really have a fraction of a pixel. So bottom line is, Manufacturers usually stick with these, the numbers that are derived from the greatest common factor, because it's easier for the consumer and even for the tech. And so there's a tech question of the day. Now it's interesting because today I think is uh, the 25th anniversary of Windows 3.1 coming out. And back then when Windows 3.1 came out, it was great because they uh, that was the first version of Windows to offer 800 by 600 resolution, or otherwise known as Super VGA, which was a 4 by 3 aspect ratio. And uh, it was so much better than VGA. I mean, nowadays, if you looked at both, you'd be like, eh, they're not that great. But at the time, it was such an advancement. And I remember it very well because I actually uh, was helping somebody with the system. Now, I had done lots of programming before that uh, with various computers, and I was actually in computer science classes at the time and doing a lot of programming with C and COBOL and Fortran and all this old stuff. Uh, but I wasn't really doing much with actual systems at the time until Windows 3.1 came out. A friend of mine had a uh, Packard Bell computer with uh, 640 kilobytes of RAM and they wanted to run 3.1 and they wanted to get on the internet. And so for some reason it turned to me and I said, well, what can we do? We got to make the computer more powerful. So we added RAM. And what did I add? I added uh, four megabytes of RAM, four sticks of RAM, each one megabyte. That's megabyte. And so the four megabytes allowed it to run Windows 3.1 and get on the internet with a 9600 BPS modem and stuff like that. And it was amazing. I was hooked at that point. Uh, I was totally into it using DOS and using Windows 3.1. And, you know, the, the modem with, uh, you got to use the receiver uh, for your phone to actually make the modem work and all that stuff. And I remember uh, using the Windows 3.1 disks. I couldn't find my disks to celebrate this day. But uh, I think there was like seven floppy disks or something like that. But I did find this. And uh, Wolfenstein 3D. That I found in 1992 in a shareware bin. I think at Sam Goody or something like that. And uh, so free. And this was the, uh, I believe, the first game that really made use of the Z axis. 3D to make the depth of the game. And uh, also made use of that 800 by 600 resolution. So just some interesting uh, thoughts there. Uh, but that was a four by three. And today we're so far beyond that. Now you may still use 800 by 600 for some video surveillance systems and maybe some other environments. But comparatively, when you compare it to 1080p, even 720p, and of course going beyond to 4K and beyond that, uh, 800 by 600 just looks much uh, worse, much less than what we have today. It's amazing where things have gone in 25 years. But anyways, that's uh, all kind of connected there. You need to know your aspect ratios. You need to know those for the exam and for the real world. 
and you should be able to convert between a resolution and an aspect ratio. So that GCF is how you're going to do it, and tools online can help you to do it real quick. So that was a lot of yapping and uh, a lot of info there that you might not care about. But anyways, that's the uh, tech question of the day. If you have any questions or comments for me, feel free to contact me at my website, davidlprouse.com.